Hi, thank you for watching the News Bunker. I'm Andy Waits, and it's Thursday, January 1st, 2009. Happy New Year! <laughs> there, got that out of my system. Well, Gazprom is the biggest gas company in the world. It's from Russia. It's the third biggest corporation of any kind. It's so big, the chairman, Alexander Medvedev, only left when he became the president of Russia. Well, Happy New Year. Gazprom has shut off natural gas headed to Ukraine. It boggles the Ukrainium. So you know what that means. Ukraine is going to have to pay a hefty deposit to get their gas turned back on. Iraq is now in control of the green zone inside Baghdad. There were no fireworks to celebrate the ceremonial handover. It's not a good idea to light gunpowder to commemorate that kind of an event. The green zone is a 5.6 square mile area protected by blast walls and security forces. And well, sure, it's the green zone now, but without proper care, you know how fast it can turn brown. If you were anxious to get 2008 in the rearview mirror, it took a little longer than usual. First of all, it was a leap year, and as if that wasn't enough, the powers of the beast slipped an extra second into Wednesday, just before 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Turns out the Earth is slowing by about 2 milliseconds a day, so every so often we have to reset those atomic clocks. I hope if you were on the clock, you got paid for that extra second. A new year means new laws, so be careful not to get busted for these infractions. In California, texting behind the wheel, either reading or writing, is now criminal activity. Domestic partners in Arkansas can't adopt or take on foster children. In Oregon restaurants, you can't smoke or order anything with trans fats. And peeing in public is verboten in New Hampshire. I know, what else is there to do in New Hampshire? There are lots of other new laws. Links to all those stories are in the video description. Remember, ignorance is no excuse but insanity is. And here's a question for your comments. What laws, new or old, do you think are just absolutely stupid? Or what laws should be on the books that aren't? Just scribble a little something down in the comments, please. Now, a look at newspapers from around the world and across America. First, the New York Times. Hey, top story is that the calendar changed. Well, look at those goofy glasses. You know, we've endured those things since 2000. Well, they're gone next year. You know, because 2010. Well, down the page, the NFL celebrates 100 years of measuring first downs with a chain between two sticks. There are some older ideas there to replace the chains. You'd think by now we'd have some kind of a laser deal or something. In the LA Times, wow, rubble in a classroom as an Israeli school is hit by Palestinian rockets. You know, I don't think this is what they mean by the Holy Land. And down under in Australia, this is the Albury Wodonga border mail, mate. Remember, it's midsummer in the Southern Hemisphere, so they celebrate the new year a little differently from us here in America. Like wakeboarding. If your New Year's resolution is to quit smoking, good for you. Not so good for Philip Morris, but good for you. Some things the experts say you can expect. Fatigue, being easily excitable, lightheadedness, nervousness, irritability, headaches, cravings for everything from sweets to tobacco. Yeah, it's a real picnic. But don't worry, all that eventually goes away. Of course, it'll go away a little faster if you light one up. But that could make everything go away, and not in a pleasant way. So good luck to you with that. Now, some comments on your comments. And yesterday was a very big day for us here at the News Bunker. Lots of new subscribers and comments. Thanks for that. Bargain Counter Tenor writes, Got a slogan for you to consider. You give me four minutes and I'll take the whole hour. You know what? That's, that's not bad. Very much like something my dad used to say. I'll give you a dollar and you give me peace and quiet. And finally, the Pearl of Wisdom. J. Edgar Hoover was born in this date in 1895. By 1924, he was heading the Bureau of Investigation, and he founded its successor, the FBI, in 1935. He was the top man there until he died in 1972. His policy, the FBI, was purely for investigation, not litigation. They didn't find guilt or innocence, just information. J. Edgar Hoover said, No amount of law enforcement can solve a problem that goes back to the family. Well, that's it from the News Bunker. There's more news tomorrow. Please comment on stories you found interesting. Tell me about the laws that you'd like to see or not see. Tell me what you found interesting today and why you found it that way. And if you click the yellow subscribe button, I will feel the love.
check back Monday through Friday for more reports from the News Bunker. I'm Andy Waits. Happy New Year, and thanks for watching.